it's another great day for us because we're traveling again, but uh, also it's going to be our saddest vlog. Because we are at Auschwitz concentration camp. Auschwitz, a very dark uh, page oh. of the history of uh, modern mankind. Auschwitz is the generic name given to the concentration, labor and extermination camps built by the Germans during the Second World War, located outside the town of Ossiecim, 65 kilometers west of Krakow. The camps are nowadays a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The largest concentration camp ever built has become the foremost symbol of the Holocaust in global consciousness, representing terror, genocide and the destruction of peoples. It's like you're on a perfect movie set, mm. a sad, perfect movie set. But again, yeah. the next second, you get the feeling that it's real. Oh my God, it is and mm. it was real. Auschwitz I began to hold Polish political prisoners in May 1940. The much bigger Auschwitz II Birkenau was built next year. In the basement of the building number 11, uh, in September 1941, were the first persons executed with a famous Cyclone B gas. There have been 600 Soviet prisoners and 250 Polish ill prisoners. From 1942 onwards, it became one of the greatest scenes of mass murder in recorded history. The majority of the camp's 1.1 million Jews, deported here from their homes across occupied Europe, were sent immediately to their deaths in the Birkenau gas chambers upon arrival. They were killed en masse with the cyanide-based poison Cyclone B, originally developed to be used as a pesticide. Their bodies were afterwards cremated in industrial furnaces. There are a lot of pictures here. They took picture of every prisoner they had. They registered the entrance date and afterwards the death date. After a few years there have been so many prisoners that they stopped photographing them. They simply tattooed them. A lot of others died of disease, starvation, medical experiments, forced labor or execution. In 1945, in an effort to remove all traces of the crimes they had committed, the SS began to dismantle and raise the concentration camps as well as burning documents. Prisoners capable of moving were forced into death marches to other camps. Those who remained behind were liberated by Red Army soldiers on 27th of January 1945. An estimated 1.3 million Jews, Poles, Soviet prisoners of war, Roma, homosexuals and Jehovah's Witnesses had been murdered within the camps by the time of liberation. The Polish parliament established the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum in 1947. Today the memorial attracts normally a million visitors annually. If you want to come to Auschwitz, Krakow is the nearest city, about one hour away. We came with our personal car, but if you don't have one, you can come with a train or with a bus or... You can get to Auschwitz from Krakow as a part of an organized day trip. So we arrived at Auschwitz to Birkenau. Yeah, and comparing with Auschwitz one, it's bigger, much bigger. But uh, yeah, there we paid, I don't know, 20 euros per person, and here the entrance is free. The museum is opened daily. Entrance is free without a ticket, but only after 3 o'clock. The entry to the Auschwitz one site is done exclusively on a guided tour between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. from the 1st of April to the 31st of October. You can visit the site on your own if you arrive before 10 o'clock or after 3 o'clock. The Auschwitz II Birkenau site is open for visitors without a guide during the opening hours of the memorial. It's the biggest concentration camp ever. Auschwitz II Birkenau. As they told us, in every level of the bed, they sleep from five to seven persons. So 
every bed there were 15, 21, so look how many beds there are. The poor people that arrived here were actually very happy uh, as they saw the great uh, um, bathrooms because they were thinking they're going to take showers inside those bathrooms. But instead of water, it was the cyclone gas that was pouring out. The Nazis tried to hide everything and destroy uh, a lot of the buildings. Here are some remains of uh, one of the biggest crematories. If you have the chance, come to Auschwitz, visit the place of those atrocities and learn. And tell others about that. Because only if you see, you can try to understand it.